In cooperation with the services, combatant commands, and other DOD agencies, the Missile Defense Agency is developing and fielding an integrated layered ballistic missile defense system. This system of Indo and exoatmospheric interceptors, ground, sea, and space-based sensors, and geographically dispersed command, control, and battle management assets contributes to the protection of the United States, its deployed forces, allies, and friends against ballistic missiles of all ranges and is adaptable to new 21st century threats. During this past year, we reached several milestones as we continue to improve the BMDS with technology upgrades, expand it with the help of our international partners, and demonstrate its performance using a robust, cost-effective test program that replicates and simulates operationally realistic conditions. For Homeland Defense, we continued to refurbish and upgrade the Fort Greeley fleet of ground-based interceptors to ensure reliable operation. And we install the latest fire control software to allow testing or exercises to be conducted while simultaneously controlling the operational system. We completed major construction of Missile Field 2 and fully integrated the Thule upgraded early warning radar into the BMDS. As part of an expanding sensor network, the Thule and Filingdale's radars will provide an early view of in-flight threats from the Middle East and deliver critical surveillance and tracking cues to homeland defense assets. With the deployment of the Aegis ballistic missile defense ships to the European theater and the Antipi-2 radar to Turkey as a forward-based sensor, we met our end-of-year commitment to deploy initial regional defenses or phase one of the European phased adaptive approach. We continued to deliver standard missile three Block 1A interceptors to provide a flexible sea-based missile defense capability against short and medium range threats. More advanced versions of the SM-3 and upgrades to the Aegis weapon system will enable us to defeat even more challenging regional threats. Agreements reached with Romania and Poland to host Aegis Ashore batteries were among last year's significant achievements and critical to our ability to meet Phase 2 and Phase 3 commitments under the European Phased Adaptive Approach. As part of this effort, we also commenced development work on an Aegis Ashore test facility at the Pacific Missile Range Facility in Kauai, Hawaii, which we expect to complete by 2014. We continued production of terminal high-altitude area defense interceptors for the first two THAAD batteries, which can defeat short to medium-range missiles inside and outside the atmosphere and may be transported overseas as a unique missile defense surge capability. And finally, this past year, we continued to operate and sustain a worldwide high-capacity command, control, battle management, and communication network, which includes regional nodes and several combatant commands. Our C2 BMC network makes timely tracking information from sensors available to all interceptors in a region and manages complex and rapidly unfolding missile defense engagements. Although we have made very good progress in the development of missile defense technology over the past year, our most significant advancement in missile defense capability still lies ahead of us. Integrating fused data from a continuously available network of remote sensors with interceptor fire control systems to greatly expand the forward edge of our battle space and the range of threats we can engage today. Our development of missile defense has enjoyed great success over the past uh, decade and a half, especially in the area of testing. We have shown 52 out of 64 times that we can intercept uh, our systems operating autonomously. What's really key to the future, though, and being able to engage our modern threats where there'll be large numbers of missiles coming from multiple directions simultaneously as well as other threats is our need to augment our organic systems with remote sensors. That will allow us to not only expand our battle space, it will allow us to handle much larger raid sizes with the interceptors and fire control systems we have today, and it's a critical in giving us a shoot-look-shoot shoot opportunity uh, that we wouldn't have if we were only relying on our organic sensors. 
So the key to our future, especially in the near term, is an understanding of our network of sensors and how it can enhance all of our capability.